All right, here on Debaco University, I'm gonna go over using propane to heat a cannabis grow facility. And while we see the propane burners here on the stove, we'd have a little bit more efficient to heat our growing area for our plants. All right, let's go over some of the details with using propane to heat our grow facility. Well, first off, when we're talking propane or you know, natural gas heaters just in general, they're certified for residential, agriculture, as well as industrial use. They have quiet operation from relatively small, lightweight units. Their power ex exhaust options can be used in small diameter vent pipe. The are optional right or left hand piping for installation it can be installed easily due to the flexible positioning of the piping and their sealed permanently lubricated motor for trouble free dependability and some models come with a 10 year warranty on the heat exchanger. So all of these are very positive aspects for, for a reason why propane or natural gas heating for a grow facility is a very common practice uh, and as I said, agricultural, residential, even industrial use. So this applies more than to just the agricultural cultural aspect of things. Now propane uh, is similar to natural gas, uh, but typically a little more costly. Uh, so again, we sometimes use them interchangeably terms. We want to be kind of mindful of exactly which one we're going to be using for our facility. It's typically easier to access though than natural gas, depending on where your geographic location may be. Propane offers minimal maintenance, but a storage tank and preheater are required. Propane is best purchased uh, by the transport load, which requires about a 30,000 30, gallon tank, and that's usually buried, depending on your regulations, uh, but usually it's buried. Purchase can be made during a time of the year when prices are the lowest, and that would be the most advantageous to the person uh, looking at making that purchase to be very cost effective. Now, natural gas is one of the most uh, economical fuels that's not available to growers in all areas. So just keep that in mind that uh, you have to check to see of its availability, particularly in your area or your particularly growing area uh, there to see if it is uh, possible to get. Uh, no on-site storage is required since it's piped in from tra transmission lines. So this is one of the why reasons why it is limited on its availability, simply because is it kind of sitting at the street? Is it below ground that you can tap into? Or is it something that is just not existent in your area? Natural gas burns cleanly, requires little equipment and maintenance, and used for central boilers or remote unit heaters. This should not be the only heat source for dedicated growing spaces because some suppliers include a interpretable clause, interruptible clause, which allows them basically to turn off your supply in time of extreme need, usually during cold spells when the fuel is needed to heat homes. As a backup fuel supply and equipment to burn it um, are essential under these conditions. So just because you're an agricultural area heating up a grow facility, you're not necessarily high in the list and you want to look to see if there is that uh, inter interruptible clause where if the demand is very high and the supply is low, they can actually, with their clause, turn off the natural gas flow to your facility. For larger users, it's best to buy a direct uh, purchase from one of the large suppliers um, near a wellhead. Adding the transmission cost to the pipelines will give you a total fuel cost. It's important to take into consideration the total fuel cost there. So again, not every heat source is ideal. This one is a uh, Great and worth consideration if it is an option in your area, but again, consider all the pros and cons with any heat source that you plan on using.